Hello everybody and thanks for joining me again today. Uh, the project at hand is going to be building a bench. It's going to be different than the urban wood bench that we built last time. Uh, today's medium we're going to be using pine, uh, specifically 2x4s. This is a project that was asked to be done uh, by a friend of ours. It's based on some schematics on a bench that her father actually had built um, and her son went and copied the dimensions of it so that we would kind of have a rough idea of what it is that we want to try to build that's going to replicate uh, her late father's bench that is now in disrepair. So it's kind of a, a personal fun project that we're going to try to bring back uh, some life to her father's original idea. Today uh, I have a friend joining me in the shop. Uh, my buddy Paul is going to be helping out so if you see a new face on camera today uh, it's good to have two hands sometimes on one of these projects. Again, like all my other projects, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Um, so let's, uh, let's see what we can do. If we can make a bench out of a bunch of two by fours and make it look really nice. All right, so we've got dimensions of the bench that we're gonna try to build today, but we don't really have any other instructions other than the, the photo of what it is that we're gonna try to accomplish. So uh, we're just gonna take a crack at uh, starting to build some of the components. We don't know whether the side should go on first or the seat should go on first. Uh, so we're just gonna start cutting a bunch of wood, lay it out and uh, see if the spirit moves us in the right direction. Alright, uh, progress update here. We have the bench seat completed. We are mulling over the plans of uh, how to get this thing in the air and uh, the appropriate height for a bench seat. We decided that about 20 and a half inches is the best height for a bench seat, which is different than the plans that we were giving. So what we're going to do is deviate from the cut schedule from this point forward and uh, we're just going to make it up as we go along and do some rough, uh, rough carpentry math to make the seat not necessarily exactly the way that it was designed, but the way that we think it'll be most comfortable to sit on. So let's see how that all goes. have it a completed two by four bench some lessons learned here um, be as selective as one can be when uh, picking out your two by fours uh, premium uh, select grade two by fours and then even then just rage through the pile until you find something as good as you can get as straight as you can get without knots and defects uh, it really looks like a cool knotty pine bench um, Hope you like sanding. Any 2x4 that you get is going to be hot garbage coming from the location that you got it from, but with plenty of sanding, uh, it can actually look pretty nice and turn out pretty smooth, but tremendous amount of sanding, as you can probably tell by the video. Pre-drill the holes so you don't crack the 2x4s. Pine is soft, and if you don't pre-drill every hole, you will cause uh, damage and destruction. And uh, last thought on this is many hands make light work. Uh, we would not have been able to accomplish this in a day, uh, let alone uh, nearly with the ease that we did with two mines being better than one. So big thanks to my buddy, Paul. This project is now complete. Thanks for listening. If you liked what you saw, 
like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.